This is what happens in Q1. I start with M. I tell you, once you guys know, you all recognize you all got these. Uh, I also have, uh, okay, but once you recognize these and aware of these, right, you can break out of it. You start with M. M syndrome. Trust me, this one more potent than COVID. Or whatever influenza, H1N1. Huh? Mentality. Mentality, no. It's something to do with mentality, yes. Warm, but it's not. Trust me, something you all like to eat, right? some of you like to eat. Right? Mala. Mala syndrome. This is called the mala syndrome. You're like ha 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 tao sa ha. Okay, this is the mala syndrome. What is the mala syndrome? Very simple. Who here like mala? Spicy food? At least spicy food. Have? No, 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 you like eat spicy food. Spicy food? Okay, great. When you eat, uh, it's spicy, correct or not? You all stop eating after it's spicy? No, right? You all continue to eat, correct or not? And then after that, eat, eat. Oh, who here eat, likes to eat Mac spicy? Yeah? Ah, some of you, right? Yeah, spicy, right? But keep eating, correct or not? Then spicy already, then start drinking Coke. Or Milo, then eat again, then keep drinking, and then you get loud side, and then like your next day you are, you are screwed, right? This is called the Mala syndrome. Okay, now what's the link to this that I observed so far, right? Is that this is where where's my educated scholar lady? You want to you want to write in Chinese? I don't know how to write Fan in Chinese. Okay, but let me just F J. Okay. Ah, ram, FJ, fan tian, means, also don't know how to explain fan tian. Um, oh, no, 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 okay, I know already. Means, uh, let's say today, uh, you do something, okay, and then it's, it, it's not productive, it doesn't serve you, you know it's bad for you, right? Okay, let's say you're chasing, ah, talk about relationship, okay, ram, let's say you chase after a lady, a girl, right? You know this girl toxic for you, no good for you, but then you still after chase after her and then you get hurt again. Right? Painful. But then you still go after the girl again. And then still get hurt again. That behavior is called MJ. It's called simp. Huh? What? <laughs> simp. Yeah, basically simp. Yeah, whatever Mel says. Like, okay? But this is called the Fan Jian. Fan Jian Syndrome. Okay? It's also called the Fan Jian Syndrome. Now, why is this important? Guys, we all know. So, okay. In theoretical terms, right? This is also what we call self sabotage. Okay, please write this down. Self sabotage. Okay, this is very very crucial. Now, every day there are some behaviors that you always have that is always self sabotaging in nature. Okay, so for example, you're supposed to do prospecting, right? But then you decide that a YouTube video is more interesting, so you can watch a little bit and tell yourself, "I watch 15 minutes, can ready." Then after that, I start prospecting, right? Or sometimes you know that there's certain food that you shouldn't eat, but you eat ready, you get outside, you get fever. You regret it, but then you still do it again. Like these are all the self-sabotaging behaviors, right? So I want you guys to write down right now three self-sabotaging behaviors that you are aware of. Right? The easiest way to find out what are the behaviors that are self-sabotaging is all inside you one. You know these are things that you need to do, or these are things that you shouldn't do, but you still do it. I just want you guys to write like these three self-sabotaging behaviors. Right, so for example, you all know that maybe some of you are like, okay, I'm gonna wake up early so I can be more productive. But then self sabotaging self behavior is I sleep late. I purposely watch Netflix and sleep late at 3 a.m. That's a self sabotaging behavior. The another one is let's say you do you're supposed to ask this prospect this particular question to help you move closer to the sale. But you just decide not to. Or you know you need to sort of follow the structure, but you just decide to go free flow. Have one. Three. George, what's yours? Uh, first one is long lunch time. Long? How long? How long is your lunch? <laughs> one hour thirty. <laughs> you go where you go, JB, eat Pak uh. Long lunch time, okay. Why do you take long long lunch time? Oh, guys, this one interesting case study. Long lunch time. Who here lunch longer than sixty minutes? One? Okay, I'm not talking about sixty minutes means like by yourself one. Not not with prospect or client one. With colleagues, uh, okay. Who here have lunch with colleagues? Raise your hands. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Like if you are manager with team that one boost one. Okay, not not counted. But if you have your own colleagues, lunch with colleagues, yes? Yes, yes, okay, great. What's the objective of having lunch with colleagues? Is okay? Gossip. Ah, okay. Good. Good. Come. I had lunch with colleagues also. You know what I mean? Like, 
I used to have it last night. But why you have lunch with colleagues? It's okay, it's okay. No. Talk hot. Okay, great. Any, anything else? Who of you, how many of you have lunch with colleagues that is productive? Right? Meaning to say that you have an objective of wanting to learn from this person. Have? Have? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the only time you want to have lunch with your colleagues. Okay? I'm not saying that your colleagues are not good. I'm saying that more often than not, when you have lunch with colleagues, it's just waste time. Right? right? Because it's, it's correct or what you're talking about. It's a new product. Uh, very, very bad. Uh. Right? Or like, eh, hey, that person is eh, hey, he's COD. Uh, this person is COD. Uh. Oh, okay, then. Right? There's nothing productive out of that line. Does that sense? So, to save yourself, this, this is a self sabotage behavior, okay? Because you guys know you should have lunch with who? You should have lunch with who? Exactly, it's a client or prospect. Exactly, so why still want to have lunch with colleagues? Unless, they can, unless you, can, you can sell them. Unless they want to buy something from you. Then you have lunch with them. If not, you build so much rapport, for what? That makes sense? Right? So, this is like one of self sabotage behaviors, okay? Mervin, self sabotaging behaviors. What? Sleeping in. How long you sleep? Yeah, I wake up late, so I sleep You want to wake up early? Uh? Why you want to wake up early? So what do you do at night? Read news. Read news. Must read at night. But you're not a trader. Right? Then okay lah. Then you then you actually then is it a need for you to wake up in the morning? Like that's it. Wake up so early in the morning. I want to. Want to okay lah. Then you gotta change it lah. Right. Then ask yourself like, why is there a need to really go in into like really reading the news? Why is the market open? Market open at what? Nine o'clock. Nine thirty. Right. Yeah. So like, why is there a need to really read it at a point in time? And how does it impact your decision? Right. If if it's like if it's, it feels good, you you read, you watch everything else. Right. Then. Then it conflicts with what you want to do, which is to wake up earlier. Then you have to choose which one is the bigger one for you. That makes sense? Okay? Derek, any self sabotaging behaviors? Come, uh, come, give me one. Uh, Share with everyone. Do nothing after my kids. <laughs> <laughs> is it a self sabotaging behavior? Okay, what, what do you intend to do? Intend to do? Ah, this one good for Patrick, because Patrick is going to have. But is it intentional? Like you really want me time for yourself and you set yourself, you know what? Fuck the kids, you know, I'm just going to have my own me time. Oh, it's cruel work. Why do you feel like you have a need for the me time? Like what do you want that me time? Or self sabotage to have me time? Is that work? Maybe it's uh, a bit uh, overwhelming. Yeah, okay. So I won't go into it. I think we can have another session for that. But like every self sabotaging behavior we have is trying to fulfill and try to fulfill an unfulfilled need. Right? So one example, let's say last time I used to binge eat, you know? You all know my story, I got fat, like fucking fat, right? The reason why I binge it, right? And everything else is because of two things. One is because I'm stressed. But instead of dealing with the stress, I use food to try to meet my unmet needs. Does that make sense? Or the other one is, let's say, for example, uh, anyhow spend money, right? Anyhow spend money. Supposed to save money, accumulate, and whatever it is, right? But we are anyhow spend because maybe sometimes I feel like I deserve it. Have you got a feeling? Like you work hard and you feel like you deserve it. And you just like, whatever it is. And then there's a self-sabotaging to your goals. Okay, so that's that. Huh?